Welcome to another episode of Chad Thinks About It Logically. After watching numerous Flat Earth videos and reading countless articles on the subject, it's clear to me, and the majority of normal rational people, that the fundamental hypothesis and assumptions made by Flat Earthers are flawed, and in many cases, majorly flawed. While they claim to make scientific observations and experiments, they are missing a crucial part of the process, the scientific method. All valid, accepted theories about the Earth have passed through the scientific method. Many have been discarded over the years for failing to meet the outline of what makes a hypothesis valid, flat Earth being one of them. Here's a little refresher of what the scientific method actually entails. This is very simplified, so hopefully the flurfs can understand it as well. Wikipedia actually defines the scientific method as an empirical method of acquiring knowledge that has characterized the development of science since at least the 17th century. It involves careful observation, applying rigorous skepticism about what is observed, especially given that cognitive assumptions can distort how someone interprets the observation. It involves formulating hypotheses based on such observations, experimental and measurement-based testing of deductions drawn from them, and the refinement or even elimination of the hypotheses based on the experimental findings. These are principles of the scientific method, as distinguished from a definitive series of steps applicable to all scientific enterprises. Notice how the scientific method involves applying skepticism about your observations because what you may assume to be true could distort your experimental findings. Flat earthers miss that all the time. To make my point about this, I'm going to come up with a ludicrous hypothesis. Hopefully, I won't create a panic in the flat earth community because they believe it. Sarcasm intended. It's going to be so crazy that no one can believe it has anything to do with the results. Anyway, my hypothesis is the following. Turkey poop is responsible for the change of seasons on the earth. How did I come up with this? Through observations based on my perspective. Flores love that word. My perspective of where I live and how the seasons change. How I see them with my eyes where I'm at. Here's my explanation. Since I was 14 years old, I've lived in the United States, specifically in the state of Indiana. It starts to get really chilly here in November and starts to warm up again in March. Thanksgiving is in November. All of these countless millions of Thanksgiving dinner turkeys are alive leading up to the holiday, leaving their steaming warm piles of poop to heat up the earth. When they're all killed for Thanksgiving, they stop pooping, thereby causing the temperature of the earth to drop. As the turkey supply recovers and the amount of fresh warm poop increases, the temperatures start to rise again. On the surface, we could reasonably conclude that it could be possible for this poop, or lack thereof, to be the cause of colder weather here in Indiana. The timeline does work. Turkey poop is in fact warm, and the time it would take for the replacement turkeys to mature would also fit with the March timeline of warmer weather. Now I draw a parallel to this. The most common flat earth evidence to support their hypothesis, the world looks flat from our perspective standing on earth. And it does. Now back to turkeys. Turkey poop doesn't explain why the length of days changes during winter or why the tilt of the earth changes. So that would falsify my hypothesis. That's part of the scientific method. Your hypothesis should hold true for all experiments or observations related to it, not just the ones that prove your point. So with the flat earth observation, it looks flat from where we stand, so therefore it must be flat. Yes, it does appear flat standing on the ground, but countless observations and experiments have proven that false. We can't take flawed process and apply it to a false hypothesis and make something true. It just doesn't work that way. And you can't reject evidence that disproves your hypothesis either. When faced with the absolute destruction of their flawed theories, flat earthers claim the evidence against them is fake. 
and then point to their experiments to prove their theories. Sorry, science does not work this way. Flat Earth was dismissed a long time ago for a reason. As humanity advanced, and so did our powers of observation, deduction, and reason, we were able to see and think further outside the two-dimensional realm. Turkey shit doesn't cause wintertime any more than a flat earth exists. I've had Flurfs troll my channel with the ridiculous theories, and it's amusing to say the least. Bring it on. I'm going to try to debunk every flat earth proof you can throw at me. This is going to be fun. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And be sure to ring the little bell if you'd like to get notified of my latest flurf battle. Thanks for logically thinking about it, and I'll see you next time.